Hey YouTube, what's going on? I am so excited for this video because I get to share some amazing products with you for low porosity hair and I feel like the whole hair typing system is changing. You know, initially it was 3A, 3B, 4A, 4B and all of that is still relevant. However, low porosity hair, high porosity hair, we are gaining more understanding and knowledge of these cuticles and I feel like the more we know, the better. So you guys know I'm always anytime, get your pen and paper ready, get your shopping list ready girls and guys because we are about to go in. So stay tuned. Okay, so with all the products I'm going to mention, they are with three things in mind, specifically for low porosity hair. Number one, the shampoos I'm going to mention are going to have gentle cleansing surfactants. You want to avoid harsh cleansing surfactants because they can raise the cuticle, which can lead to protein loss and issues with dryness as well. Number two, these products are also going to have cationic surfactants, which is great for slip, manageability, and really taking just your hair to the next level, okay? And then number three, these products are going to be highly moisturizing, which is great for low porosity hair since we typically have an issue with getting moisture within the cuticle. So with all that being said, let's get started with the shampoo. So of course you guys know pre pooing is amazing, you know, more and more butter, babasu oil, coconut oil are the go-to for pre poo Now your shampoo, okay? Number one, the first product I want to recommend is the As I Am Long and Luck Shampoo. This shampoo is definitely a favorite of mine, being low porosity. I love the fact that it has amazing slip for a shampoo, which is actually very rare. The reason why I like this number one is because it has a water and aloe vera juice combination. Top two ingredients, which is huge because that lets me know that there is a large amount of moisture within this shampoo, which is key, okay? Secondly, it has a very interesting cleansing surfactant called the disodium coca amphodipropionate. <laughs> that is a mouthful, but that is a very interesting cleansing surfactant because it is amphoteric. Most cleansing surfactants are anionic. They are negatively charged. They can be kind of dry and kind of harsh on the hair, but this one is amphoteric, meaning it has a negative and a positive charge. So it has a little bit of conditioning ability to it. So this shampoo is definitely recommended for low porosity hair. It is amazing on the scalp and also gentle on the hair as well. Okay, number two is gonna be Carol's Order Wash Day Delight. This is another shampoo that I highly recommend for low porosity hair. Now what makes this so unique is that it is a liquid formulation. So when you see it, it has like a nozzle and it like, it's just such a great formula overall. Um, it's not stripping of the hair and it has coca glucoside as the main cleansing surfactant. Coca glucoside is derived from coconut and it is non-ionic. So it's not gonna have any type of like harsh result or factor on the cuticle of the hair because it is non-ionic, which means it doesn't have a positive or negative charge. So those are gonna be my top shampoos for low porosity hair. So next are our conditioners. I had a really hard time choosing conditioners because you guys know how I feel about my Aussie voice. However, I wanted to share some conditions with you guys, specifically for low porosity hair that I think are just as amazing, if not even amazing -er, than the Aussie voice, okay? So number one is going to be the Pattern Treatment Mask. This is a product that I just recently discovered. What makes it so unique is the fact that it is a jelly consistency. I mentioned in my previous video about moisturizers for low porosity that our hair tends to respond better to liquid and gel and gel cream based formulation. Now what makes this so unique is it has polyquaternarium 37. This is a polymer and a cationic surfactant. So not only is it aiding in that jelly texture, it's gonna give you some great slip, but you're also gonna get some cationic surfactant, some detangling ability from that same ingredient as well. And I believe it's the second ingredient. So it's in there at a good amount. Now the second condition I'm going to recommend has literally been formulated for low porosity hair, which is actually great. You don't see a lot of formulas on the market now that are designed for a specific uh, porosity. And it's a brand called Ethnic Girls, and she makes low porosity hair masks. And it is absolutely amazing, okay? This is 
also going to give you that gel cream like texture. Now, as far as the ingredients go, there is guar hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride, which is also similar to like a jelly cationic ingredient. And then, of course, there's my beloved Behendra ammonium methyl sulfate, and that's going to give you a lot of slip in this formula. When I use this product, the first thing I noticed was how slippery my hair was and how easily detangling was. Secondly, there's a lot of rich oils in the formula, like argan and jojoba oil. So something like this you do not see, like a product designed for low porosity hair very often. So this is something I definitely recommend for low porosity hair as well. Okay, next are our leave-in conditioner. The first one I recommend is the TGIN Miracle Repair Leave-in Conditioner. I just discovered this formula recently and I just tried it this past weekend on my hair and this formula is so creamy, so creamy, so rich, so moisturizing. What stands out to me about this formula is it has, of course, the ginger sulfate within it, but it also has dimethicone. Now you guys know I'm a fan of silicones. I think they're great for the hair, especially with locking in moisture. And when you have a combination of a cationic conditioner like Behenja Ammonia Methyl Sulfate and you have a silicone, you're gonna get some great performance. So that is one leave conditioner that I do recommend. The second one, of course, is gonna be the Aussie Moist Miracle Moist Leave-In Conditioner. This to me is my baby right now. Um, it's been my baby conditioner, but I don't know because um, that TGI didn't like to take it in place, but that's another video. Um, but Aussie Moist is amazing. It's also another gel cream like formula. It's a lot to slip. Great cationic conditioners in there as well. Very moisturizing. Great shine as well. I mean, these two, in my opinion, are neck and neck when it comes to low porosity and conditioner. They're great. You cannot go wrong with either of these formulas. Okay, next are going to be our moisturizers for low porosity hair. The first one I'm gonna recommend is the Pattern Hydrating Mist, okay? Now, this formula I really like because it is a liquid, like a liquid spray moisturizer. You guys know, previous video, I mentioned how liquids are great for low porosity hair. It's super easy for that moisturizer to penetrate past the cuticle and get within the hair. Now when it comes to the ingredients, the first ingredient of course is water, the second is glycerin. So when you have a combination like that of water and glycerin as a second ingredient, you're gonna get a very highly moisturizing product, which is great. However, on the flip side, I will say this, because the glycerin is the second ingredient, it can get kind of sticky when it comes to your hands because glycerin is naturally very sticky. However, if you don't mind the feeling of that on your hands, you're going to love it on your hair for the most part. Now on the flip side, if you're like, mm, I want more of a cream, then my second one that I recommend is gonna be the Kuza Black Castor Oil Hair Moisturizer. This is something I've been using for a very long time. It is a cream-based moisturizer, and what makes this very awesome is the fact that it does have glycerin within it, but it's not the second ingredient. But you also have some great cationic conditioners in there, great slip, great manageability, softening the hair, all of those things. So those two moisturizers are amazing for low porosity hair. Okay, so now that your hair is super moisturized, we need some type of oil to lock in that moisture. And the first oil I'm going to recommend is the Melanin Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend. This oil is such a great formula. It's so good because it's not like a lightweight oil, but it's not heavy. It's just like the perfect viscosity of an oil. That's the best way I can describe it. Now, this formula has sweet almond oil as the first ingredient. However, the third ingredient is called diheptosulfonate. This is a silicone alternative. So it's like uh, another version of a silicone. And this is helping with the spreadability and the slip that you are experiencing when you are using this oil. And it is awesome. And the second oil blend I recommend is the Kuza Oil Blend. They have so many to choose from. And I love these because these are soybean oil based. And there has been research shown that soybean oil is great. I mean, great for moisture retention. And I feel that anytime I use any of these oils, Oils. So the Kuza oil, you really cannot go wrong, especially with low porosity hair. All right, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and also got a shopping list of some new products you want to try. Um, I will have all the lists of everything I just talked about below in the description box, so definitely check that out. Of course, I have a question for you. 
because curling chemistry is all about community and just really encouraging each other. So my question for you is, if you are low porosity, share one piece of advice that you can help someone else out who has low porosity. Maybe it's, hey, I have low porosity and what has helped me is X, Y, Z. You know, so share below. And if you are high porosity, because I'm sure some of you guys watch this video as well, share your advice for your hair porosity peer or you know person sister or brother um, as well in the comment box below and i look forward to seeing all of the comments i look forward to joining the conversation with you guys and um yeah be sure to follow me on instagram at charmaine 369 to get more information on curly chemistry tips and advice and ingredients and all the things on a daily basis by following me on instagram so be sure to do that if you're interested in learning more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry definitely check out the curly girls guide to hair care ingredients i will have the link below for you to check out and if you're interested in starting a hair care line no matter where you are on the journey you can work with me one-on-one -on -one as well and i'll have a link below for you too all right guys i love you and i'll talk to you guys soon bye